What's going on guys? My name is Hybrid and you're watching Glitchcraft. This is my beginner's tutorial on how to pack a punch on Voyage of Despair. So there are four pedestals that you need to activate in order to do this. This map is a little bit complicated so I will be showing you the routes to all four locations from the spawn area to make it easier to navigate for you. So go ahead and grab your controller and follow along with me here. So the first pedestal you need to go and open this barricade, head up the stairs to the bridge area. Now the bridge area of the map does have several important things in it, but I will cover those in future tutorials. Go to the right hand side, into the back, and you'll find yourself in the staircase area. The staircase area is pretty simple, just go across it, open the door on the right hand side, and you'll find yourself on the first class lounge area. Go through this window here, note the statue on the left hand side, open the door in the back, and you'll be on the promenade port deck. Stick to the right hand side as you go all the way to the back of the ship, that'll make it easier for you to not get lost. Up here onto the aft deck, on the right hand side again, open the barrier. This is going to be an expensive process, so be sure that you budget your money wisely and try to use melee attacks, right? Because you'll get more money for that, you guys know that. Head up the stairs all the way to the back part of the deck, which is called the poop deck. And the first thing you need to do is activate the artifact, which is the blue shiny thing on top of these stairs. Once you activate that, it'll turn red. You'll see these red lights flying out of it. Those indicate portals which you can take to different parts of the ship that you've activated later on. I will make a video about that later, talking about where those go and how to best utilize them. So avoid the zombies, and that red light right there is what you'll see on top of all the pedestals. Go ahead and activate that, and then once you've done that, you need to do three more. So from the spawn area, the second pedestal is fairly easy to get to. Come down the stairs, immediately turn around, and go down these steps here towards the mail room. Keep going down to the bottom. I'm intentionally moving at kind of a slow pace so you guys can keep up with what I'm doing in real time. Pause the video if you need to. Into the water and turn around and towards the back of the cargo hold you'll find another pedestal which you need to activate again. In this area you'll find a wheel that you can turn that can drain the water, by the way, if you decide that you want to do that. The third pedestal is again pretty easy to get through. Go ahead and head up the left stairs onto the bridge again, like we did for the first pedestal. Go through the bridge area on the right hand side into the grand staircase and for this it's pretty simple you just want to go all the way to the bottom down the stairs down the stairs there's quite a few of them and then once you get to the bottom you'll find the pedestal right there probably the easiest one to find the fourth pedestal is a little bit complicated so be sure that you're paying close attention let's go up the stairs on the right hand side onto the bridge area Move through here, move through here, open that door if it's not open yet, onto the staircase area, go outside on the opposite end, onto the boat deck. Kind of stick to the right hand side here. You'll find yourself in an area called the mid deck, which is pretty much the same thing as the boat deck, it's just a different section. Um, go across these lifeboats, onto the off deck. And now you're on the poop deck, which is where you went originally for the first pedestal. But instead of going up the stairs there, you're just going to go into this room beside them. You're going to find yourselves in third class. Pay close attention to this, because this gets a little bit tricky. Move through here and jump down here, and this will save you some time, because you'll be in the provisions area. Keep going, keep going, go ahead and open this door. And now you're in the engine room. Once you're in the engine room, head towards the back of the room, pass all the machines, pass all the machines, and go into another water area. And then towards the back there, you'll see the fourth one. Guys, please note that whatever pedestal you do last will be the one that will start with Pack-a-Punch. Just like with the box, after a certain number of uses, it will move on you. 
However, looking at the symbol on the pedestal will indicate to you which pedestal has currently activated with the, the Pack-a-Punch machine. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful to you. If you need help in other areas, be sure to leave a comment and let me know about what you need help with, and I'll see if I can make a video about it for you. Good luck, guys.